Hello and welcome to CS38 Racing and this is our first, literally first gameplay with MotoGP2. Yes, I'm so excited to have it. Um, but we're going to ride with Joel Kelso around Portimao. Um, yeah, and just have a bit of a first play in a race and see how it is. So we're going to go Portimao as the track. Riding aids, that's all good. Race options. We'll do three laps. Okay. I just want to go back and test something in options. Controls. I want to change this to Yeah, that's how that works. That's all good. Overall, the overall look is just a little bit of a um, jazz up. I like it better than MotoGP 21. It kind of has a bit of a nice premium feel about it. Other than that, most things are just a slight reworking of MotoGP 21. So let's get down into it. I'm going to do some FB2, then we'll come in for some qualifying and a race. All right, see you guys down in qualifying. Okay, so we made it into the top qualifying, which is pretty good. So we're overall combined fifth. So let's go out, do a couple of laps and see how it goes. Of course, we're going to switch. Oh, how do I? That's writing a manual setup, change compound, change it to a soft, soft, there we go. Let's go, flying start. So overall it's pretty similar to MotoGP 21, um, of course with the need for upgrades and all that kind of stuff to the leveries. But anyway, we're going to find out how we go here. So one thing that is definitely noticeable, that is different, is the fact that the bike does not like turning when braking. That is primarily the big difference. So you kind of have to Be more precise with your braking and your leaning in and all this kind of thing. Particularly this corner for Portimao, I hate this corner. I can never gauge where I need to brake or where I need to lean in. So it does take a little bit to get used to the physics.
but with the Moto 3 bikes that is not as extreme as of course what it would be in Moto 2 or Moto GP. Whoa! And it's more likely to do that, uh, having head shake under braking, um, than in GP21. Particularly surprised me for the Moto3 category. So I think that's an alright time, so let's see how that goes overall. As we take a look at the final results of the oh, okay, we did manage to get pole. That's pretty good. Good for us. Also, it'd be good if Kelso could get pole this weekend. Um, it was where he got his first win in the CEV uh, Moto3 Championship, which is now called the Junior World Championship, which is the Moto3 category that races around Europe. This is where he got his first win and really speared his charge into the Moto3 World Championship. So... Hopefully, like we have done for Joel Kelso, he also goes well. All right, let's go to the race. Okay, so because it is a three lap race, we're just going to go with the soft soft and just see how it goes. Okay, track limits warning. We have a crash in the first sector there. Try and hold a tight defensive line through this section. I found in the practices that that corner in particular was where a lot of the AI were crashing. And this corner is where the AI catch up. Oh, we're a little bit in too tight there. Just got McPhee on the back of us. Oh, we're a little bit tight in there, which has pushed us wide. So we've lost a little bit of time, but let's see if we can get a slipstream on Ortola. Whoa, had big head shake there. Lucky to really stay on the bike. Whoop. We had Halgado up the inside of us there. We've got oh, our tear gas on the inside of us there. Oh, we run wide there.
Just lost a bit of our rhythm there. And we're running wide. Okay, so got a bit of time back to uh, Beratelli behind us. Beratelli or Bernatelli, whatever his name is. Oh, running wide. I'm just going to have to accept that. It's a final lap. Oh, you know what? Going to rewind that. That was just a little, little mishap there. Okay. We've run really deep there. Oh. Bernatelli is through on us. Oh, ran a lot deeper there. Oh, Bernatelli was down and so was Halgado. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get onto the back of Halgado. into this final sector. I think we lost some crucial drive there. I've got some good drive, but I think we're a little too far back to really catch Algado. There we go. Fourth place for our first ever race in MotoGP, uh, MotoGP 22 in the Moto3 category. So that's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be putting out a review of MotoGP 22. I'm also going to try and get out over the weekend a back-to-back uh, -back, uh, MotoGP 21 in Moto3, Moto2, MotoGP and sort of compare the two. And then I'm going to give a review and I'll also give a review after a couple of weeks of playing it once I've gotten used to the physics. All right. So please like and subscribe. Really would like it if you'd comment down below how you're finding the game and what you like about the game or hope you would thought of thought would be in the game but isn't in the game or what is in the game but you didn't think was going to be in the game. All right. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Really means a lot here at CS38 Racing so we can keep giving you the content you guys like. All right. Thank you. Over and out. Bye.